everyone, it's me once again. So one of the downside of having a vector is that he has a very limited use of his arm. I know he's cute, but the way he expresses his emotion is by lifting hands up and down. And, um, you know, he, I guess the only func other function I could see is that he's lifting up his cube using that. So I thought, well, is it, surely there must be a robot uh, that will be available or is available in a very cheap price where it could you know freely use its arm and I managed to find a robot that it's actually under the crowdfunding at the moment uh, from the website called Kickstarter and it's called bot bit I believe and it only has 13 days to um, gather your interest so I was just wondering whether I could show you that video to see whether it will be appealing to you. I already pledged um, my money on it, uh, which is only about £60 or something. But I uh, just thought whether you guys would find it interesting as well. So I'll show you a video clip and also a few of my comments. So here it goes. Okay, so this is the actual bot bit. Um, as you can see, they're aiming for £20,000 and they managed to raise £1,896 so far, 16 backers and only 13 days to go. So um, you can see the <laughs> sort of cute squarish robot actually could hold sword, toy sword, axe and shield and um, it's a prototype gallery there's available so you can click on that. So this is a quick image. You can see the flexi arms, as I said, it moves frequently, very easily, and it could draw stuff. If you put a pen and also play music, hang on on certain things, and battle bot as well. That sounds, that looks really cool. So it has a lot of potential, and I think it looks like you're gonna assemble it, but it looks quite simple so far. And this is all the, is it Python coding that all these kids are getting into and, and etc. So Python, MU, MyPython, MakeCode and etc. So these are the things I'm trying to get into. So these are the hardwares, ultrasonic sensor, bot bit control board, uh, relatively small and um, N20 motor, all right, servo motors and etc. And I believe they also have this sort of certain package you could also have, right? That sort of PlayStation uh, kind of controller as well you can get. And it's a very good price, but let's just have a look at the video, shall we? To get more idea of it. Right, so full screen. What is Botbit? Botbit is the world's first all-in-one microbit robot. So the arms are quite flexible. Small, versatile, codable computer to help children pick up programming with ease. Botbit is compatible to Microbit's full range of coding languages like Scratch, MakeCode, MU Editor, and MPython. Externally, Botbit resembles another open source robot called Auto. Right. However, you will find the difference once you start fixing it yourself. All right, so kids could easily build it. Oh, right, so you can actually change the legs as well. That's really interesting. We have six upgrades. Oh, right, so that was a previous model. Sorry. You can now construct its appearance. Design <laughs> the mask for it. Oh, Pikachu. Cards. Okay, they look quite weak. Bopet now has a pair of customizable arms. Its legs are interchangeable to a set oh, right. of speedy so the wheels is, and a pair of super basic. flexible arms. Wow, you could actually motion. Using another microbit, you can command Bopit to take on any challenges. I bet it doesn't make that sound. Invite a friend for a game of right, soccer. Play soccer. Or Use Botbit inbuilt sensor to race. Ah, How so it seems to have the zooming function as well. Interesting. Take Botbit to the next level with its built-in Bluetooth technology. 
interact Bluetooth with each technology. other and synchronize your moves. So you can use that, I guess. Let's dance the night away. Bopbit provides endless hours of fun and learning. It is always waiting for you to fuel it with your imagination. Bopbit, more than just a robot. Bopbit is created by two passionate STEAM education companies, Gaia Maker and Lab Plus. Gaia Maker the technological and Lab Plus. revolution is set to make many jobs obsolete and open up new opportunities for the future. Well, we talked about this. Robotic brings more jobs. Our children develop critical thinking and creativity using code. If you have kids, your our kids have to get into these the sort of things. Years testing different prototypes to integrate the essence of STEAM education into it. Steam this has resulted right. in a perfect blend of architecture, ideal for technology education. Whether you are a budding amateur, an innovative educator, or a seasoned maker, Bobbit is something for you. Join our Kickstarter campaign. So it's reasonable size, and it's only $40, $40, $50, $40, $50, $60, so that's quite interesting. Right, so this bot bit, it's, it's quite interesting, well, one of the appealing side is that it's uh, cheap. Um, I think all I need to pay so far, including the delivery, overseas delivery uh, package, is uh, 60 pounds, 68 pounds or something. And um, I mean, Vector, we, you know, most of you guys actually spent over 200 pounds or 250 um, US dollars, while as this one is below or almost half of 100 dollars or 100 pounds. And um, you could build it and the Flexi Arms makes a lot of use. You could play soccer or football or you could play like other games like gladiator mini gladiator games it's a reasonable size i can see the man was holding it early on it's about sort of size of my fist i guess and um also the whole crucial thing as well you know this learning about python coding and etc if your kids are not into it you have to teach your kids this because it's the way of future but overall i am quite interested as well i would like to build this robot to see how useful it is i would like to play around if i could you know just dissemble it or break it if i want to it's cheap um, but um, overall i just want to get your attention to it uh, much cheaper than uh, Vector, you have a bit of a self pride, I guess, because you know exactly how it's built. I think you're going to assemble it yourself. What do you think? Do you think it's worth sponsoring it, uh, pledging it for Kickstarter? I think there's a lot of interesting projects going on on Kickstarter at the moment, but I thought this was quite a reasonable one for uh, for me to appeal against you guys. I became one of the backers last night and I thought whether you guys would be interested as well. If you think you are interested, please do back it up. It only has 13 days left and it only progressed very tiny amount compared to what they're trying to achieve here. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, what bit? Uh, support it or not? Let's see how it goes. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the evening for the remaining weekend. Okay, all the best. Bye-bye.